I wonder what's going to play on Marshall Andres' mind. I, his previous fight in Edwin's performance. I think his season. strategy will be identical to his uh, the other previous two fights. It's going to be down to the double uh, the double pull that can use. Yes, him. yeah, I agree. It'll be all about the double pull. You can see Edwin being aggressive more. They're kind of moving in a little bit more than he normally does. Still, Practically, Marsh Andre has been doing a better job. Yeah. Because he's playing the game. Yeah. Edwin is going with the flow and gets whatever is in front of him. So he's uh, very Edwin's excited to see too. what's going to happen. His style is to kind of just counter and go with the flow and kind of give you stuff and play off your mistakes. That was a great win against Dobby Ramos, man. I still amazing. can't get over that. It's probably his best win so far. Yeah. In this Ah, man, I, I'm, I'm gonna give it to the W. Ramos. Like, that was yeah, really I was excited so about that one. And that was the best. I mean, situation. Arnaldo really impressed me too. So have, that like, means that Josh Hing was really impressed me. An extra ten grand just in, in bonus. Yeah, could be. That's a good thing. I think, in but the, 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 the two that oh, the two that That's oh, he could very well defended. Nah, he's he defends so well this thing. Good, good. That's not, you're out there, right? This this crumble that he's. What I'm saying, see this crumb when he's trying to yeah. come up. That's it. You know what I'm saying? Oh, that's what I was, trying, that was talk, talking about. Marshall's got to get on top there. Good yeah, tempter by Edwin. See that this crumb can also be from the bottom line. Look he's at this. Passing. Look at this. This could be bad for Marshall. Really, really bad. Point, 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 point. And again, is he gonna take the back? This, this could be bad. It's Thirty-five Good. seconds. Good defense there by Marcio. Edmund with the back attack again. Defending if he can defense. find that jaw, free his bottom hand. Wait, that's a hook. Is that a hook? Yeah, is that a hook? Be a hook? This is a hook. It is a hook. No, Marcio at the right time. Oh, just, just in the last second. Wow. What a fight. Great job defending well, by Marcio. Well done. Well done. Well done by Marcio Andre. Great what offense a, by Edwin as well. What a attack by Edwin. Two Edwin's of the rock. most technical grapplers in the world, ladies and gentlemen. You are watching it right now, ACB7, live from Rio de Janeiro. Incredible. What a start of the fight. I actually thought you had him there for a second. Let's see what's going to happen now. I, I, I believe it's going to happen the same. Because yeah. I don't think Marshall didn't want to be on Edwin's guard. If I, if I were Edwin, knowing that Marshall wants to pull after that one minute mark, I would still try to time something. Like, if you know your opponent's going to pull, Just what do you have to legs. lose? Exactly. Like, you know he's going to pull. You might as well time it. And Marcio has consistently pulled on the mark. Edwin, as usual, very relaxed. Marcio waiting for those 20 seconds to go by so he can do his thing. Yeah, Edwin just looked at the clock. I think he might try to time it this time or do something before Marcio pulls. What I think the advantage um, is that fight will be whoever is more relaxed and comfortable yes, with the game. because we you got know? four more rounds to go. Exactly. What would you do if it was Marcio Andre? If I were Marcio Andre, I'd be doing... I mean, his best bet really is pulling guard on Edwin. I don't think he can stand with Edwin. Um, if Edwin pulled guard on him, it'd be interesting it's to see be, what happened. But tough, yeah. I don't think Edwin's... Yeah, exactly. It'd be difficult, too. But Edwin is rather playing on top by, by the looks of it because he could have pulled guard right now. Yeah, it'd be interesting to see what would happen if Marcio got on top. We've seen Marcio. We know he's a good pass. I mean, he's known for his guard, but he's also incredible on top. He's passed Cabrinha's guard. Not a lot of people have done that. Yeah. You know? And so we know he can, he can pass... Um, but can he but take him down? I, I, if Adam doesn't pull, I don't see that happening. I don't see him on top at all. But maybe the best thing for Marcio, oh, pass the mark, he hasn't pulled. That was the first. And if, if I were Marcio, I'd probably pull, just get a little more aggressive. I think maybe the one thing that Marcio has faulted in the first round was not being aggressive enough from the bottom, kind of letting Edwin take the lead there when it came to aggression and just waiting a little too much. I think now they take a little. Yeah, you know, it, it was, was, it was, it was it, it, exactly that. The end of the first round was pretty intense. So, yeah, they're both taking their time. I'm surprised Marcio hasn't pulled. Now, fitness and recovery, it will play a lot in this game. Yeah. You know, because it's a, a cumulative, right? Um, and Edwin has another advantage because he submitted all of his fights. That is a good point. You know, which Marshall had longer gives him fights. a little bit yeah. of an edge on the, on the stamina. It's the advantage level. of being a finisher. I mean, talking about Josh then, right? 
Josh yeah. has been oh in there God. for a total of three minutes. He's, he fought for three minutes. He hasn't fought a whole round The entire is fighting top yeah. guys in the world. You the know, guys on fire. I'm looking forward to see first, against... I really think I Josh probably impressed me the most. I mean, even wow. Najini, obviously, but Josh, quick submissions, man. That guillotine. You want to get this fast one. Keep that in mind if I ever train with him, man. I'm not grabbing my head. Well, if he doesn't get tapped in one and a half minutes, <laughs> he's five yeah. grand on his pocket. Yeah. if Morris is going to try to go for a takedown now or if he just saw that maybe he doesn't want to play guard with Najimi anymore. Maybe he felt that Najimi was too dangerous on top and he just changed strategy. You know what? I'm going to stand up. The thing is, every time that he was trying to sweep him, he was exposing himself. That's the danger. You know? And, and if you let Edwin in front of you and you still stop, he'll capitalize. You know? Yeah. So I feel that Marshall Drag got a little like stuck on, on his strategy I, 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 he, he's kind of unsure what he wants to do Edwin's still playing the same game going with the flow but Marshall I think he kind of froze a little bit yeah I'm trying to read Marshall's thoughts here and I'm wondering what he's, what's going through in his head because you know you don't want to play that stand up game with Edwin he's just too dangerous and he's, I mean we've seen it from the V, the, the v match it's very difficult to take him down I thought really thought the V had him and he, he proved to be you know Maybe he's gonna wait for the last Better, 30 seconds yeah, first yeah. and then try well, to do for something now. That's I, I just, that's that was my next thought. You know, oh, I'm just waiting it out the round and, and turn it on next round. Yeah. Using this round to rest, maybe. Yeah. I think Edwin's about to try something. He's so confident, stand up like high. Stand. I wonder what I wrestling understand. coaches think. of If you're a wrestling coach and you're watching Edwin walk forward like that, with his stiff legs, you probably look at him. That's not I'm never going to work, but it works for him. Twenty-five seconds on the clock. I wonder if they're both kind of just waiting out. They know they have five rounds. Yeah, I think they. So still, they're just kind of just taking their time and. Second round is over. Very nothing really happened that yeah, one. Yeah, right? exactly. It was an unusual round for both of them. Uh, yeah. I was expecting a replay of the first I round. Think that was like a let's take a, let's I, take a I, fight. I really think they both. It was like a silent agreement between the two of them. Let's both rest. <laughs> let's take a break. Let's, we let's, got let's you let's have take four a more rounds to go. Whoever wins this round has an advantage because yeah. he can even lose in one round and still have a time to to get to, to get the other round. But I don't see Edwin change as much. Maybe after the half. What would happen if Edwin pulled guard? I wonder that what would happen there. Edwin, if he did trash talk, he could be the McGregor of Jiu Jitsu. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad he doesn't. Me too. <laughs> Jiu Jitsu, we don't do that, do we? Yeah, it's, yeah, it's unnecessary. It's, it's more real than you know what you, know. you really got to do. How about you win? Just win. Right? Exactly. And then winning takes care of everything. Exactly. Oh, you know what I think? Mercy with a lot of wheel, off, is odd the, grip there on his hand. The, the confidence that Edwin has is pulling Marsh, Marshall there off, I, I, I think. Yeah, because I think it throws. Could, I could see that happening. He can yeah. get more than that. Even Marshall with the V Rumble, I felt the same thing after that first attempt, and the V couldn't take him down. Yeah. I think something changed there with the V. It's kind of like, oh, this is going to be a lot harder than I thought it was exactly. going to be. And you can see he was almost passive. That's not like the V to be passive. Yeah. You know, and, and similar to what Bushisha take down attempts on Roger. Well, I was just yeah, I was just thinking about right. that because Bushisha's double leg has been has been so dominant over the years. He takes everyone down with that exactly. shot, right? He's got a great shot. And that was the first time I see it got shut off, and I think Bushish in his head was like, whoa, this guy is a different animal. And just step up in the mat straight and back again. Yeah. <laughs> I call the advantage. Yeah, he's funny. He's a character, this guy. I like him. Yeah. I, I love Marshall. 
No, these are two of my favorite grapplers right here. At the moment, this this weight division, they they are dominating, man. Right? So many years ahead of him too. What is it? Najim is what 22, 23. I think Mars is 22. Yeah. The hair, see, he's just more worried about yeah. his looks than anything else. That's important. He don't care about his tennis. That's where his strength lies. That's his confidence comes from. His amazing Samson. hair. Exactly. <laughs> Look at that hair. So that if is I, a if I were the Marshall, game right there. That I need is to game. tell him mess with his hair. Yes, I'll power Marsh with his attention. hair right now. <laughs> Here we go. Look, we're gonna touch the hair again. <laughs> the Shibaraya attempt there by Marcio. Yeah, it's looking like a replay of the second round. Yeah. Is he going to go down to the Maybe they're going to wait to the... Trying to push him out of bounds there. Edwin's having none of it. Hair. <laughs> it would be great if they give him a comb in between rounds. <laughs> Makeup artist. Arm, arm drag attempt there by Marcio. That's, I think that's fair to say Edwin's biggest uh, quality is his how relaxed and calm um, and confident just he is. Take it much that this round is going to be pretty much the same. Exact. Let's just finish our um, debate about what shows after, like, Roger coming back after seven years without competing, coming and beat years? the best in the world that was being the best for the last five unstoppable. Uh, yeah, what was shows, unstoppable, man. It's, what, it's what, crazy. what shows is that is uh, a lack of basics on the new generation i'm not criti criticizing um because i think he's one of the, the best of all times as well but i mean he is good all rounded yeah but roger is good on only on the basics and yeah, that can he's, lead he's, to anything he's very i mean you know? and uh, it's, it's almost almost sounds like an insult when you say basic but it's, I mean, it really isn't. But like when you say someone's basic, it sounds like you're insulted because we see new as better than old. And the way we ought to look at this is my opinion, bro. Maybe you'll agree with me. Is that who cares if it's old or new? Yeah. The only it's, thing that matters is does it work? But when we right. say old, basics is it's not only old. Basics is old because it's what the main concepts of any technique yeah. that is out there. It's a re There's a reason why it's been around for a long right. time. Exactly. Yeah. So the tech, the any tech, oh look, every technique is a vehicle to make a certain concept work. It doesn't matter what technique you use, if it has the same kind of concept, it's gonna be effective, right? Correct. But if you base yourself on techniques instead of concepts, you're gonna be locked down to that situation. Yeah. Whereas he, when you understand the concept, you can make it up on the spot. You know one thing I hear more and more, for especially from the, 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 the blue belts and purple belts, they talk about their game. And I'm still trying to figure out what they mean by that. Because back in the day when you learn, I mean, people have preferences. I have my preferences, you have yours, it's normal. But to say, when they mean my game is that I don't want to learn anything that goes outside my game. So if my game is 50-50, that's their world. Like, it's almost like they refuse to learn anything other than that right there. And that's, and that's a fairly new feature. Like I remember, like that thought process never existed. Like you learn as much as possible. Everything is, everything is functional. Correct. All right, so there's like that, almost like you're looking at yourself in the mirror. There's another warrior across the mats from you that has dedicated his life to the same sport that you love. Um, it really creates a bond between the fighters. So even when there's smack talk, I think it's all really just for sales. I mean, deep inside, a fighter has to respect another. Otherwise, you wouldn't train hard, right? Of course, yeah. Right. Fourth round. Let's see. Now things start changing. I can see a little bit of more intensity on each fighter. The crowd's going mad over here. Um, Marshall Drab fighting at hometown with a big crowd supported by One screaming, Marshall, Marshall. Marshall. Uh, crowd definitely representing Novo Niao here. Edwin is a foreigner, but he's very likable here. So it's everyone appreciate the camaraderie camar and uh, the respect of both fighters. You know, they put on a great show to everyone. That's how Jiu Jitsu is supposed to be. Marshall with the stand up, man. Expecting that. I wonder what his strategy, overall strategy is. I think Najimi is like overall strategy in pretty much all his matches, kind of waiting for someone to 
put their head down, take a bad shot, ended up in a scramble. That's where he excels, right? He's like countering. He's a little bit more than the last time. Yeah. Before he was going with the flow, I can feel that he's kind of put a little bit more Slightly pressure more aggressive, yeah. to get a reaction of Marshall because whatever uh, Edwin has been done well was by reacting on uh, Marshall's action. So I think he's forcing Marshall to act so he can react and maybe taking the best of it on the scramble. That's what I think his strategy is anyway. That's going to be another penalty. Two penalties each. bunch of takedown attempts. I was expecting Edwin to jump some triangles at some point. Maybe he just doesn't really doesn't want to miss and be on bottom underneath Marcio. I could see him being equally dangerous from the bottom as he is on top. But what I think is yeah. happening, both are respecting each other very yeah. well. They don't want to expose. Maybe he's leaving for the last minute. You see Edwin just look at the clock, so he knows up to something. He's just wondering how much time he's got left and maybe try something towards the end. Or they're just going to leave it, you know, saving it all for the... For the for the last round. Fifth and last round, yeah, correct. Both of them very patient. One and a half minutes to go. Fourth round. Marcio and Edwin. Just We're gonna see some crazy thing going a on. A lot of hand fight and head fighting going on. But I'm, I'm expecting some fireworks in the in the fifth round. What do you call probably a submission or it's gonna be a decision? I uh, don't think there will be a submission. You know. Uh, one minute left, one minute left, I think. I, I can't based off of what I've seen. Uh, I, mean, I guess. I just say those guys are machine. Ed, Ed, Edwin take. I mean, overall he won the first round. Let's say, but the other, you know, the last three rounds have been excessively slow. Not much going on. And, yeah, Edwin looking at the clock again. I, I'm hoping he's going to try something towards the end. Next fight the third the final penalty there. of the 85 kilograms. Josh Hinga, two submission under one and a half and minutes Arnaldo, against Arnaldo, which also two submissions. The best of the Knights in under 85 is going to be matching, meeting the final. That was huge win by Patrick Gaudio over Kalazan. And then Arnaldo goes huge win over Patrick. And, you know, Josh, of course, is making everyone tap quick with that guillotine. It's kind of and and he's known for it, too. So you expect people to be sharp and not let him, you know, don't let him grab your head type thing. But he's just relentless about it. Like, being, I watched him closely tonight. I was able to see why he's so respected for that guillotine. Because he just doesn't quit on it. He you doesn't know? let stop. Yeah. Very tight. And he's fresh, so dry. He's gonna have a better grip. Here we go. One minute, fifth and final round. Marcio Andre and Edwin Najimi. You can see Edwin complaining. To be honest, ref. I can only expect both of them going at it now. I don't see well, it's, it's, this fight on the, on the standing for the whole match. $40,000 on the line? Yeah, I know. I don't think, I, I think they will be unleashing the beast right now. They have to. Come on, it's not big characteristics if they don't you know? Edwin getting some advice from his coaches Sergio and Gabriel Arges so does Marshall 
deciding it's round. It's got, it's got to be the I can't, round. Yeah, the, I can't see them leaving it to the, to the judges. It's just, especially Edwin, he's such an aggressive I mean, fighter. I don't see him doing that. I think they're really going to turn it on this round. They go. They know he's going to be the one. Everyone's fresh. Everyone rested. Edwin fixed his hair. Game is on. Again. <laughs> it's not how you do it. You've got to look good doing it. More wrestling between Marcio and Najimi. Once they approach that one minute mark, Marcio's gonna try to pull this time. Maybe Najimi will pull this time. If not, both of them need to get more aggressive on those takedown attempts. 30 seconds to the one minute mark. Yeah, I mean, if, if, I'm, if I'm the referee and I'm seeing that, I don't blame the referee for, you know, for, for giving all those negatives. Like, I, I probably give him a full time. 30 seconds if nothing, nothing yeah. no one tries anything i think it's a way to really give mike a, like a wake up call like man people are here to see a show you guys gotta try something and understand how respectful they are and tactical and how you know how how much you have to respect your opponent's ability but at the same time three two one let's see what happens let's go stay with the pressure stay with the tie up strong that's it, that's it. He's got to work. He's got to change. Go. The, the submission teams yeah. will be the yes. difference of the, yes. the difference yes. of the round. So they need to go at it. You know, if, if whoever he wants he us to win yeah. and don't leave it to the referees, you know, you got to go back. That's, that's like a, it's like a, a, a yeah, conundrum in jiu-jitsu, I guess. Like people, they have two great grapplers and they think, oh, this is going to be fireworks. And, you know, a lot of times it is, but sometimes they're so respectful and tactical about that win especially when there's so much money and there's so much on the line that they end up being so conservative you don't see much you know I remember like matches like sometimes like the final of the world championship it's so tactical it's in the lightweight division you don't see like nothing happens and it's not that you know the guys are trying to be boring or anything it's just that they they're so skilled and they know each other so well they can't afford to make any mistakes and that's where these guys are at they respect each other so much they simply cannot afford to make a mistake one mistake will cause you the championship yeah there's a lot to lose right yeah there's a lot on the line and that's true for all sports really but they have been trying that for three consecutive rounds and it didn't work um they gotta do something to call the judge's attention at the moment they're just getting penalties yeah yeah, I don't blame the referee for giving them penalties. So I, I can see another one coming very soon. That's why that third round would be very uh, important for the match because if Edwin would have pulled guard and yeah. would feel yeah. where would be the best option because at the moment he doesn't know if he could do well or not on the ground. And he cannot risk on the last round. You know what I'm saying? Sharp. Shot stay attempt sharp. there by Marcio out of bounds. Two minutes, sharp. Two minutes, stay sharp. You see Edwin changing his stance a little bit, right? Got a little bit lower now. Mm -hmm. I wonder if that's his way of I'm going to try something here or, you know. He cannot push himself so forward so get the... Sharp. Yeah, I mean, Marcio does so well. Yeah, exactly. Just kind of that, print that bridge there. Don't lose position. Yeah, I see Marshall trying to get underneath him any second now. They got him two minutes left. Well, that's going to be a tough match for... A, a tough match to decide who wins. But if nothing happens on the last round, this could go to Edwin for almost taking yeah. the back of Marshall yeah, in the I mean, first round. I think he, he, Edwin won the first round. I mean, if you give a decision based off of the last four rounds, it's a draw, obviously, but... When you remember the first round, right? Edwin won that first round. So, yeah. I mean, he got really close to passing Marshall's guard. Correct. He got close to the back. The and he has put Marshall in more danger go. than Marshall has put Sure, yeah. So, Marshall needs to put up. Um, Maybe Edwin knows this and he's just like, you know. It could be. And that. since then, Marshall didn't pull guard at all. Well, if that's the case, then Marshall really has one minute left to do something because I think the decision will go to Edwin. Yeah, me too. Marshall currently training with Gustavo Dantas in Arizona. Gustavo was a former coach of mine when I was a teenager. Yes, yes. Still his face 
Seconds. Let's see if one of them is going to try something here. Wow. If they're going to try something, now's the time. She's the second round for sure. Yeah. It's interesting. Emma, like the new one. has shown very confident standing, huh? Yes. Well, like, quite impressed. But at the same time, like his game is more of a counter. You don't see him going for a bunch of takedowns. He does not take a single shot. All right. That's not his thing. I'm going to get ready to talk to them both now. Take that armbar attempt by Marshall towards the end. Oh, remember, the, the tiebreaker factor was takedown at uh, a submission attempt. So I wonder if the judges will consider that a legitimate take uh, submission attempt or if they're just going to say it wasn't close enough. Your winner, an ACBJJ no e well weight champion of the world, Marcio! Marcio Andre with the win. Incredible. Congratulations, Marcio Andre. The 75 kilo championship belt. Repeating the final of ACB Jiu Jitsu, the Gi Grand Prix. Now, this time, Marcio took the win.